Okay, so now we're on tip number four. And what I'm gonna tell you now is that now that you're trying to master a diaphragm and you cut your teeth on maybe using call them in, you got clothes, maybe you killed a bull with the open reed, and you're you're like, hey, let's uh let's try to master these diaphragms. Don't move too fast with the diaphragms. The first thing you want to do is try to be able to make a sound with it. And if you can make a sound with it, now it's all about how much how much air and pressure you're putting on this sound. The first and foremost is your cow sounds. If you don't master your cow sounds, you're not gonna be able to transition into your bull sounds. But what I will tell you is everything's based off of a cow sound. So if you're trying to make a, uh, a location bugle, it's all basically done with elongated, elongated cow sound with a little bit more rasp in your voice with a drop at the end. So on a diaphragm, they have the latex built right here and that latex sits against your tongue. So picture, this is your mouth, the roof of your mouth, and that latex sits at the roof of your mouth. You want a nice little seal that seals that to the top of your mouth. If it falls down, try to move your latex or your, your diaphragm back a little further or forward a little further. If it doesn't seal to the top of your mouth, what I've been telling anybody else is trim about an eighth of an inch off of each of the sides and then keep trimming until it seals to the top of your mouth. Now, granted, some people have, you know, high pitch uh, top of their roof of their mouth, the high, high palates is what they call them. And some people have, you know, short palates. So if you're looking for a short palate, you might want to look at some of the, oh, Primos makes some short, like little kids diaphragms. But it, I, I wouldn't say little for little kids. It's just for people that may have short palate plates, right? But Phelps makes great diaphragms and they and these work wonderful for me. So I'm gonna put it at the top of my mouth and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just make a sound. So it sounds like this. And if I could just make a sound, then it might sound something like this. You're just trying to make that sound. And then you want to clean it up. Once you start cleaning it up, you want to try to just use the practice of and this is how I do it. And if I could do that, then what I'm really working on is just two things at once. I'm working on getting my voice and my, my air through the, through the diaphragm, but I'm also working on control. And what I mean by control is waving that sound, making that sound elongate, like this again. And I'm just trying to see if, where my control level is. So once I've mastered that, moving slow once again, I'm just going to master you, you. And it sounds like this. And these are just basic cow sounds. Once I've mastered the cow sound, once again, cow sound. I want to try to elongate that into a location bugle. And that's how you're able to use um, a tube like Phelps tube uh, versus the Primos tube, right? So I'm using a Phelps tube so it magnifies the sound and to practice that, what I use is I just elongate it and drop it off at the end. 
Some bowls are a lot longer. If you're practicing for a competition, I might want to go a little longer. Um, but I realize that if you're trying to cut your teeth on a diaphragm, you have to master a cow sound first. In order to master a cow sound, I mean, in order to master uh, any other sound, if you don't have your cow sound down pat, then you're not going to be able to master other calls. Move slow master the cow sound, and then you can move into a location bugle, which is just an elongated cow sound with a little bit more rasp, and then you drop it off at the end. And then if you want to get into, later on we'll talk about it, but chuckles, which is some of the hardest sounds to make, is all I'm doing is ew, ew. based off of your cow sounds. You can make every sound that you need based off of your basic call, which is a cow sound. And then if you want to make a calf sound, you just make it a little bit more, a little bit more shorter and a little bit more like a kid talking instead of an adult talking. as human terms. A kid, sometimes when they get to talking, they just don't want to be quiet. And you tell them, be quiet. It's the same way in the woods. When a calf starts coming through, he's, she, he or she, he's going to be just crying. Talking about, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? When are we there? When are we going to get there? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? They do that. So, calf sounds cut in half, and there's a little bit more one. Once again, I think Joe Turner does explains the best. You should look him up on YouTube. Man, I cut my teeth watching him on, on YouTube too. But does a really good job of explaining this. When you're looking at it in, in, in uh, human terms, that calf sound could seal the deal for you. Uh, once again, practice your cow, uh, cow sounds. Elongate those into a, a location bugle, and then you'll be able to master all the rest of them. But the calf sounds and the cow sounds. That's where I cut my teeth. That's where I started on my diaphragms. Hey, stay, stay with us. We got more tips for you. Colorado High 2 Hunters. <laughs> 